hi guys so this is my first ever video on youtube in which i will be talking so let's get it started so the most requested tutorial i got is uh, the one where i where i create the leather the leather pattern so let's just do it so first you need to do is uh, just uh, add a plane go into the edit mode and subdivide this plane few times so here I have divided it uh, twice I can subdivide it one more time but I will just demonstrate on this one okay so what you need to do is uh, okay never mind let's just subdivide it one more time just to make some more patterns so what you need to do is uh, select the alternative vertex points and then you can press ctrl plus v and you can select connect vertex path what this will do is uh, it will find it will follow the path you have selected and connected so just press on it and you can see it is working so do the same thing again Here you can select again same thing just try to select alternative voltage and that's it see if I do it like this it will not work so I will have to follow the path only like this By the way, there are some other methods uh, by using which you can make this kind of patterns. But so uh, for this is my first tutorial, so that's why I created it manually. So now, <coughs> what you have to do is select the vertex with uh, maximum adjacent uh, vertexes. So I think this has the maximum vertex around it. So I am selecting this, 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 this. Okay, these are the vertex. Okay, or what you can do is press Shift plus G. This is for select similar, and uh, you can choose uh, amount of connected edges. So it will select automatically. Now what we need to do is uh, bevel this. To bevel, you can press Control plus B, and to bevel the vertex, it is uh, beveling the edges right now. So if you want to do bevel. Uh, vertex bevel you can press V while bevel is active so press V and you can see it is now beveling the vertexes so after okay though so this much amount of bevel is fine you can increase it by uh, dragging mouse wheel up or down decrease it by dragging it down so now I think this one is a uh, this are enough so now you have to go into face edit mode because we have to extrude it and if we extrude it now you can see the vertex is extruding too so go into the face mode this is the most important thing you have to go into face mode okay so now you are into face edit mode now you can extrude it and press M to merge and select collapse you can collapse it I am extruding it this much you can extrude it however, however you like it now press now subdivide it to subdivide the shortcut is control plus 2 control plus 2 or control plus 1 depends on how many subdivision you want so this is the first pattern it is very simple and very basic so I am going to duplicate this one just to show some seams here and there so now the, on this one you can select this these are the joints I seams so you can select this I am holding alt while uh, selecting that's why I can select the entire loop going or it will select like this so press alt while selecting by alt I mean alt again okay. 
so now after you have selected all the vertices you can bevel this and add one segment you can scroll up to add one segment then press ctrl plus minus so ctrl minus to deselect the adjacent edges and then grab it down so i am moving it down now see here it is creating the pattern but it is not quite accurate i will show you why just because it is not going along the edges so if you look at the real reference uh, there should be vertex going like this same with this one but it is the end so we have to select this like that uh, this 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 whatever is uh, in the center of uh, our pattern so basically like this Uh, you can select it or not. I don't actually know how it is. So let's just select it for now Slide bevel Control minus and grab it down So I think <laughs> I made a mistake don't select this one but never mind you got the idea so okay never mind let's just delete this one you can be able this ones like we already done we will this bring it down and now what you need to do is after bringing it down you can just select this R and press M and collapse it to set so that way if you don't collapse it it will leave, leave spaces like this this uh, this is too broad so if you collapse it it will collapse all them together and it will like create the shape we don't want this shape we can add a sphere on it but for now let's just uh, Okay, so I forgot to build this one, collapse this down, but it's fine. I think you got the idea like how it is created, it's like uh, how real is it, it can be created. You can uh, make any pattern like I have joined these vertices. If you want to make a cross one, what you can do is uh, select uh, whatever you want to create. So for this I think if you want wait a second okay I will have to do it manually so if you don't want it to like a uh, like cross pattern if you don't want the cross patterns you can just level the middle vertex follow the same procedure and now you can bevel this one so this is the you can build this one and then add a single or bagel add more one one more segment and select this R and just collapse it so that way you can get a straight line and if you want go this direction if you want to go this direction too you can uh, do that too so it's just simple I hope uh, you get the idea and if you want want more if you want more tutorial like this let me know how you like this one I will create more I am actually an architecture visualizer so I am planning on creating uh, entire series on architecture visualization and uh, some modeling tips material tips and stuff so let me know how you like it and 
what I should be improving to upload more tutorials on YouTube. Thanks.